welcome to the part 2 of WPF Expander Control series. So in the first part, we spoke about the we spoke about the expander control in WPF and spoke about some of the problems encountered while styling the expander control. If you missed the first part, I would suggest you to watch that video first. The link is given in the description below. So in the first part, we placed all our expanders into rows and columns of grids but the result was very vague and was not as desired. So naturally in this part, we are not going to do that. We won't be placing our expanders into grid. Instead, we will place all our expanders into stack panels. So let's do that. Let's place one stack panel into a window. Okay, so this is our stack panel. And now what we are going to do is, we are going to write all our expanders inside this stack panel. So let's do that. As you remember, expanders have a header. We'll expand me. And a background. Now, if you, if you saw the first video, you should remember what I told you. We should never ever give an expander its height. So the height is always given to the grid of the expander. So let's specify a grid of this expander and give it height 200. Now let's give this grid a background equals aqua. Okay. And if you want to increase the height of the expander, what you can do is Increase the font size. Oops, sorry, that's the stack panel. Increase the font size of the expander. Okay, so there you go. And you can also inc uh, you can also add labels inside the grid. can specify the height and width of the label and you can also specify the content obviously okay so now you can see if we increase the height here to 60 you can see that the label is actually inheriting the font size from the expander because the font size of the expander header is 20. So how do we avoid that? We can set the font size of the label to 16 and you can see it has decreased. So let's give this label a background as well. Okay, so now let's run this. Okay, so this works perfectly. Let's add one more expander here. So we'll just copy paste this code and change the header to and the background to whatever you like, say brown and the background of the grid as well to beige. Okay, now let's try and run this. So this works perfectly the way we want it to. Now let's add two more expanders beside these expanders. So again we are going to do the same thing. We'll place another stack panel here and drop our expanders inside the stack panel. Okay, so I'll just copy these expanders and place them inside our stack panel. 
so let's see whether they're there yeah so we can change the backgrounds and the headers of these stack panels like here I am and something like knock knock okay so let's try and run this so as you can see this works perfectly it works like a charm there is no problem like when one when one expander expands the one beside it expands as well because these expanders are on different stack panels and hence with the help of different stack panels we can place exp we can have multiple expanders one beside the other so that's it for the video and thank you for watching